Today at Clifton we've had a wonderful day. We've done a sort of, it's like a, a tutorial on what to, what to do and what not to do makeup wise because we're told so many things in the past and we look through magazines and some things progress and unfortunately we're not always uh, knowing what is progressing. So we've had a wonderful group of ladies here and I've given them some really, hopefully they think, great hints and tips on what to do, what to avoid, what to take on board, how to rectify, and maybe sometimes how to resurrect some of those things that they've got in their makeup drawer that have maybe, you know, they thought that they bought by mistake, but they're not mistakes. Well, this time of the year, they are looking for something that they can wear in the evening, because we're looking at sort of uh, Christmas, New Year, party, party, party. Uh, but also, it's nice to know about the basic things as well. So, you know, you, you want to look good all year round. There are a few trends. There's a lot of metallics around, and metallics can be a little bit scary, because especially for uh, maybe slightly more mature ladies, but they don't have to worry. It's not that frosty, heavy stuff that we were associating with in the 50s, which was really heavy and made us all look horrendous, even though we did think we looked pretty darn good at that time. The new shimmers are very lightweight, and they actually, that metallic look looks fantastic on any eye, whether you're 15, 50, or 70. So the one thing that isn't really great and what isn't really in is super shiny faces, like you're sweaty. Uh, that was around in the 90s. I actually remember putting Vaseline on a model's face to get that sweaty look. That isn't flattering and that isn't very pleasant for every, anybody.